Hello there and welcome to another episode of our Luminar Neo All Sliders Explained, the show where we describe and explain every slider in this powerful photo editing application. For those who don't know me, my name is Jacob Bors and I'm a creator and founder of Clever Photographer. Now before we're gonna jump into it, we have a few things to cover. First of all, if you want to follow us, make sure that you click on the link below and get the sample files before we're going to start. The second thing is about getting Luminar Neo. If you don't have a copy yet, make sure that you follow link in the description and also use our code CLEVERPHOTOGRAPHER to get additional 20% discount. Now finally we want to ask you to like, comment, share and subscribe this video and also our channel so we can keep creating content like this. Now in today's video we're going to be looking at the essential tools otherwise also known as essentials and specifically we're going to be looking at the structure AI tool. So we are here in Luminar Neo and let's jump into the edit module and here in the essentials you can see the structure AI. Now the structure AI has a two sliders but first of all let's talk about the tool in overall. The structure AI tool allows you to adjust the detail and clarity of an image. You can use this tool to reveal a great deal of details or get a smoother image. Structure AI is the main tool to increase the contrast of an image and visualizing more details. Now there are two sliders there once again. So first of all, let's have a look at the amount slider. This slider select the strength of the structure AI effect. Moving it to the right increases the amount of the visible detail in the image. Now that you already guessed it, moving it to the left, remove the details and flatten the image. Now the second slider called boost adjusts the overall display of the details. So sometimes people get confused and they think that the boost pushes the effect of the amount, but that's not the case. Moving it to the right actually increase the details. Compared to the amount slider, the boost emphasize more small details and it is a little bit more aggressive. When you really push it all the way through, it offers an HDR-like look. So that's the text, that's the explanation of these sliders, but now really we should jump into the editing. So let's go into the catalog and let's start with this image right here. Once again, as a reminder, if you want to follow me along, make sure you follow the link in the description and download the files so you can join me. So if you have them ready, let's start right away. So we are in the edit module. Once again, we are in our essentials and we are focusing on the structure AI. So as I said earlier, first, now we're going to be focusing on pushing the slider towards the right and actually increasing the clarity and detail of the image. So as always, what we want to do, it's really push it all the way through so we can see the difference and we can understand the effect of the slider. So let me show you before how it's all kind of smooth, although it's quite kind of detailed and a rusty room. When we push it all the way through, this is the result. So of course, this is not what we want. However, it kind of gives us an idea what's happening on the image. So as you can see, maybe something like this, if you want to really make it rustic, maybe you could have a model here and really work with the effect to your own benefit. So that's what happened when you push the slider towards the right in the amount here in the tool called Structure AI. Now we're going to go back to the catalog and now we're going to bring this image. So let's go again into edit and we're focusing on the Structure AI and we are looking at the amount. And this time, in can, instead of pushing it to the right, let's push it back towards left. And for those who do some editing or did some editing before, uh, obviously, you know, when you push the clarity, specifically clarity towards the left, you get this kind of glow. And this is exactly what's happening. When I push it all the way, look how I'm getting this kind of romantic, uh, magical glow. It's looking really like from a fantasy movie. So when I push it all the way, obviously, I lose all the details. So you don't want that to happen. However, you understand what I'm talking about. It really gets really soft and it gets additional glow and it looks all very dreamy. So you maybe don't want to go all the way, but you can push it a little bit. And it's really important to know that with this structure AI, you can do both. You can increase the effect of the structure and also you can get a really nice slow blur and glow into your image. So this is the difference between pushing the slider of the amount towards the right and towards the left. 
And now we're gonna also look at the boost. So once we're here, as you can see, I have my amount on zero. And now let's really push the boost all the way again. So once again, let's remind ourselves what the boost does. So this slider adjusts the overall display of details. Now moving it towards the right, just like we done right now, really pushes the details. Compared to the amount, the boost pushes the small details and it's a bit more aggressive. It offers an HDR look like, and you can really see the before and after. Let me show you before, after. You can see how everything really pushes up. Let's go back to the catalog. Let's bring this image back again. And uh, as you can see again, the amount is on zero and uh, let's push the boost again. So you can see how it really pushes the details. It's quite aggressive. It's a different kind of look, but it's important to know that it's there. So you can really choose and make the correct artistic decision on what you want to do with your image. So that's what the boost does. And finally, I think another thing which is really important for you to know is that this tool is really smart. It's actually human aware. Let me show you what I mean. So we have this image right here. And obviously, if you would apply this effect to a face, to a body, to a human, it would be really distracting. And then you would have to go ahead and start to mask away things and it would get all really long and unnecessarily. But this tool is human aware and it actually does doesn't overprocess people in your images. As a result, face and skin look natural while the objects around them are looking detailed. And let me show you and prove you that um, it actually really works that way. So we have our structure AI again and we're pushing the amount. And let's push it all the way here, for example. And uh, you can see how it really takes the wall at the back and really pushes the details. Although her face and her body doesn't almost change at all. Let me show you before after. I think that's crazy. And it's really super, super cool that this tool is smart this way because that adds and it gives you another option of what you can do with it. And again, it takes away the necessarily part of masking things away and so on. So when we do it the other way around, again, it works very similarly. Now with the minus amount or when we shift the amount towards the left and when we are really kind of trying to minus the clarity and details, sometimes the face and the skin start to glow as well. So you don't want to do it all the way. However, it works really cool the other way around when you want to increase the details, the body, face, and a human pretty much stays the same. And there you have it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you had a fun and I hope you learned something new. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also check our other Luminar Neo videos. Once again, my name is Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next one.